hi guys welcome welcome back to my channel if this is your first time here my name is Janelle Veronica and I post makeup videos twice a week well usually on Wednesdays and on Saturdays but I've been posting sometimes on Mondays and Thursdays so if you don't want to miss my uploads make sure that you subscribe turn on the notification all that good stuff so you never miss whenever I upload a makeup video. Today I want to film an updated makeup routine. I've been doing my makeup a little different since we're moving into the hotter months. I still love full coverage. Don't get me wrong. It doesn't matter the season. I am going in with full coverage. I love full coverage. All right guys, so have no fear. I know we're all here for the full coverage, so that's what I'm gonna to deliver today. But I'm just gonna show you the extra set steps that I'm taking in my makeup routine to make sure that I stay flawless, to make sure that I stay nice and shine free, and that my makeup lasts for the entire day. It's going to be a full face, so I'm going to do eyeshadow as well. You know I always serve an eyeshadow look, simple but cute. I'm going to use the Morphe Vava Bloom Eyeshadow Palette. This is what we're going in with today. Let me show you what it looks like. Lots of pinks. So this, this is what the palette looks like. Lots of pinks, some beautiful, beautiful shimmer shades. So... This is what I'm going to use to create the eye look today. All right, so enough of that. My intros are so long. I'm going to get to priming, get some makeup on my face, show you my updated makeup routine and all of that good stuff. For my primer today, I'm going to go in with my Milk Primer. This is the Milk Makeup Pore Eclipsing, Pore Eclipse Mattifying primer well that much is all you need I always prime I find my makeup lasts longer and looks smoother and sits better on the skin whenever I go in with a primer so that has not changed we are primer girls here in makeup land we are Prima Girls here on this channel. Now, what extra step that I have been incorporating, and I got this tip and this trick from Jackie Ina, is to make sure that I powder my primer down. So I'm gonna powder my primer. This helps control shine, keeps the oil in check, so it keeps your makeup looking a little bit more matte and oil-free throughout the day. It doesn't make your makeup look cakey or anything because you are only applying a very thin layer of powder. I'm gonna go in with the Black Opal Soft Velvet Finishing Powder and the shade I'm gonna use is 400 Medium. All right, and you see how that instantly mattified this side of my face. You can see the difference between this side, which has the powder on it, it's nice and matte, and this side, which only has the primer on. Okay, nice. For foundation today, as I said, I want full coverage. Full coverage team, team full coverage over here. I'm gonna go in with my Juvia's Place I Am Magic Velvety Matte Foundation. The shade that I use is 220 Dakar. I'm just gonna go in with my finger. I'm going to go in with my Real Techniques Miracle Sponge. Now 
Now the next step that I'm going with to help my makeup last is that at this stage, I spray my foundation down with setting spray. So I'm going to use the Urban Decay All Nighter Long Lasting Makeup Setting Spray. Alright, and you can try that step. Just spray your make, spray your foundation down with setting spray. You can actually spray it and before you blend it out and blend it out you know with the setting spray on your face while you're blending out your foundation as well i prefer i think it works better for me when i blend out my foundation and then i spray with setting spray and let it dry and dry it down with my fan i'm going to go with concealer now and i'm going to use my Too Faced concealer this is the Too Faced Born This Way Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer and the shade that I use is Butterscotch. concealer dry down while I contour and I'm going to use the Juvia's Place shade stick in the shade Katsina around the forehead I'm just going to go in with my BH no, Cosmetics and no, BH Cosmetics number no. 3 brush and blend that out I didn't have my lights on for some reason. I only had my ring light on. So hopefully you can see a little better now. All right, we are all blended out. I'm gonna go in with my Cala sponge starting at my chin I find I've been using less concealer under the eye like before I used to go in with like triangle under the eye but I've realized I really don't need that much concealer I don't know if it's a phase that I'm going through and I will go back to doing the triangle but I just go in with a little bit under the eyes right now and as i said this is like an updated summer makeup routine where i'm showing you exactly how i am doing my makeup recently so under the eyes all right lovely to set my concealer down, I'm going to go in with the Juvia's Place I Am Magic Setting Powder in the shade Bobby. And all of the products that I use today are going to be listed in the description box for you guys to check out. I always list all of my products. This Gobi shade is a nice golden, can you see? Well, we can see it, but it's a nice golden shade. It's absolutely beautiful.
think so that looks that look that looks good the butterscotch concealer by Too Faced with the Juvia's Place setting powder in Gobi Whew. buttery and smooth absolutely lovely 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 I'm gonna set the rest of my face now set my foundation down with my Fenty this is the Fenty soft matte pro filter foundation powder foundation in the shade 450 Now, I double set my face, so I'm going with the Fenty powder, a very light layer of this because it's matte. Then I'm going with the Black Opal Finishing Powder in 400 medium. And I do another light layer. Alright guys, so I did my brows quickly off camera just to save a little bit of time. To prime my eyes for the eyeshadow, I went in with my good old trusty and faithful Juvia's Place Eye Prep Eye Prime Eye Primer in shade number 2 and this is what the shade looks like. Now as I said for the eyeshadow, I have the Morphe Vava Bloom Eyeshadow Palette. All right, so this this is what it looks like. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. So we're gonna just jump in, and you're gonna get an eye look going. I'm gonna start by laying down a transition shade, and I'm gonna go in with this pink. This is like a light pink, mid tone pink in the palette. So that's blending out lovely. I love it. I'm going to deepen up the crease with this plum. That shade in the palette, that plum shade. I'm going to use that to deepen up the crease and to define the crease. And this is a Morphe M434 brush that I'm going in with. That brush that I used to blend out just now was another Morphe brush, but it came in a brush set and it doesn't have a number on it. Now 
I'm just starting from the outer V and blending the outer V. Alright, and then I dragged it a little bit inwards into the crease. I'm going to go back in with the transition and just re-blend. Alright, so that's nice. I'm going to go all matte on the eye. Normally, I go in with a shimmer. But I'm going to go in with this pink, that one in the palette, and I'm going to use that on the lids. I'm feeling for a matte eyeshadow look today. Alright, so I like that color. The first shade was looking a little bit too dark and it wasn't standing out. So what I decided to do was to mix these two matte shades in the center of the palette and it gave me that shade which I'm a lot more happier with. go back in with the crease color that looks cute do you like it do you think it looks cute I'm gonna line the lower lash line with the same that deep plum that we have on the crease I'm going to go in with a little bit of sparkle on the inner corner. So we have a matte eye, but I want a little bit of a little razzle dazzle, sparkly, workly, whatever you want to call it. So let me see which of these beautiful shimmer shades. Should I go pink or should I go go? I'll go pink and I'll go in with this shimmer shade. That one right there, that's so beautiful. lovely all right so lashes is real lashes are really going to make this look pop off for my lashes today i'm going in with my 
Euler London Definition Lash, which is my absolute favorite lash. So let me pop these bad boys on, come back, you know, do my blush, do my lips, and any other finishing touches that I need to do. All right, guys, so lashes are on, and isn't the eye look so cute? It's pink, it's perfect for summer. This is such a perfect, cute, summery look, and I absolutely love it. I'm gonna go movie on the blush today, and I'm gonna use a Palladio blush. Palladio blush. Have y'all ever heard about the brand Palladio? You know, I think it's a drugstore brand. They definitely have a presence on Instagram. You can check them out. I like their blushes. I like the blushes and some of the lipsticks. Those are the only real things that I can vouch for and say that I really like. So if you're trying things like the eyeshadows and the other stuff like that, I am not certain. I'm not telling you to go and buy them. I know I like the blushes and the lipsticks. So this is the Palladio Matte Blush in the shade, what's the color? Velveteen. And I'm going in with my Real Techniques 400 blush brush. So I think that's nice and subtle. I have this Revlon Photo Ready Blurring Powder. I've used it before. I haven't used it in a little while. I normally, at this point, go under my eyes with the setting powder that I would have used to set my concealer. But I'm gonna go in with this one today. This is in the shade um, 30. Unfortunately, they don't have many shades. That's one thing I must say about them. They don't have many shades. Um, so I'm gonna use this just to blur the on the eyes. And this is my Morphe M554 tapered paddle brush. black opal powder and just lightly reverse contour the cheekbones pop a little bit more and you can see the bronzer the contour and the blush a lot better I'm going to set my face now with the setting spray I used earlier the Urban Decay All Nighter Long Lasting Makeup Setting Spray This, the blurring powder by Revlon. It's not giving me the matteness under my eyes that I like. So I'm just sticking to my original routine. I'm pressing a little bit of the Juvia's Place setting powder. Okay, you try things. So you decide you try things and you decide if you like them or if you don't like them 
it's time to work on my lips i'm going to line my lips with this lip pencil from la girl it's the perfect precision lip liner in the shade berry wine now if you go anywhere and you come across these lip liners by la girl make sure that you pick them up they are so good this one is in a wine colored the wine color and it's called berry wine this L'Oreal lipstick. It's in the shade 442 I Captivate. It's a liquid lip. I think this is called the I'll put the name in the description box but I think this is the L'Oreal signature lip which is like more like a lip stain as opposed to being like a full liquid lip but it feels nice and light on the lips love it I'm thinking this look needs a little bit of highlighter on the cheekbones so this is the Maybelline Master Chrome in Molten Gold and this is a Royal Techniques, what is it? 402 brush. guys so that that is the makeup look all complete my hair is so big today i didn't put as much mousse in it as i normally put in i just wanted it to be big and fluffy and bouncy today hope you like it hope you guys like the makeup as well i am loving the pink on the eye the nice plum colored lip that we have going on everything is sitting nicely on the face now as i said this is like my updated makeup routine for the summer so there are some extra steps that i went in with today to ensure that the makeup lasts as long as possible during these hot days all right because we don't want to look like a sweaty mess when we're out with our friends out with our booze and everything all right guys and girls so i hope you like it thank you so much for hanging out with me for yet another video hope you had fun and i will see you in my next video be fabulous as always have a fantastic week wherever you are and i will see you in my next one bye guys